stuck in my earring. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Miss Fran from Reed Memorial Library, and I'm glad you're here with me for story time this morning. We have some really great books that we're going to read. So I'm going to give you a couple of hints in the song that we sing, our Good Morning song, and uh, you maybe you can figure out what we're going to be talking about. Okay, here we go. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. Okay, here's a hint. If you'd like to read a book, drive a truck, honk, honk. If you'd like to read a book, drive a truck, honk, honk. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, drive a truck, honk, honk. Okay, here's another hint. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, pee you. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, whoo, pee you. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, pee you. Did you guess what we're going to be talking about? The community helper that we're going to be talking about today is a garbage collector. Did you ever smell garbage in the garbage can? Be you! And they drive a big truck, don't they? So we've got some good books about that today. The first book that we're going to read is called Trashy Town. Oh boy, we make a lot of garbage, don't we? I'm going to show you two words that are in the book. I'm just opening to the middle for a minute. Can you see this word right here? It's in the color red. S-T-O-P spells stop. And there's another word over here in yellow, and it says no. So when we're reading, I'm going to point to those words and you help me say them out loud. When I point to this one, you say stop. Point to this one, you say, no. Okay, here we go, right from the beginning. This is called Trashy Town by Andrea Zimmerman and David Klemesha. And you'll find on every page these little guys, and those are supposed to be rats. Rats like garbage. They like to eat the leftovers. And that's why we try to keep our towns cleaned up so we don't get rats in the middle of our towns. Trashy Town. Mr. Gilly is a trash man. In the morning, Mr. Gilly puts on his heavy gloves. He climbs into his big trash truck. He turns the key. He drives his empty truck down the street. He is looking for trash. There's that word. Stop. There are trash cans by the school. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? Can you read that word? Say, no. Mr. Gilly drives on. Here's the red word. Stop. There are trash cans in the park. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? Can you read it? No. Mr. Gilly drives on. Well, he's busy. Look at that red word. Stop. There are trash cans behind the pizza parlor. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? There's the word. No! Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop! There are trash cans next to the doctor's office. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? There's that word. 
No! Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop! There are trash cans by the fire station. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. And look, he's petting the fire dog. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No. Mr. Gilly drives down all the streets in trashy town. He empties all the trash cans into the truck. Look, he's juggling the trash cans. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is this truck, is his trash truck full yet? Oh, look, the word is missing. Yes! Mr. Gilly has cleaned up the whole town. That was hard work. Mr. Gilly drives the full trash truck to the dump. Up, up, up goes the truck. And down, down, down goes the trash. I dumped it in. I smashed it down. I love to clean up trashy town. Mr. Gilly turns off the key. He takes off his gloves. And then he goes home. Now there's only one more thing to clean up. Time for a bath, Mr. Gilly. Look at the rats looking in the window. You need to pull your curtain down there, Mr. Gilly. Look at there's pictures of trash cans and old fish bones and papers and old cans. That was a good book. What does your trash can smell like, especially in the summertime when it's hot? Mine smells like pee. You. Garbage collectors are really important. One time in a big city, the garbage collectors decided not to work for a while, and the city filled up with trash, and it was so stinky, nobody wanted to go there. I'm really thankful for our garbage collector. So, I have a rhyme that's called a chant, and I'm going to stand up. You stand up with me, okay? It's called Garbage Man, and it goes like this. I'll do it, we'll do it a couple times so we can all get it. Hopefully I can remember the words. It goes, Garbage Man, Garbage Man, he picks up the garbage can, drops the trash in his garbage van, then he drives away. Let's just try that much again, okay? Garbage Man, Garbage Man, he picks up the garbage can, drops the trash in his garbage van, then he drives away, drives the trash to the dump, drops it off in a great big lump, drives away, bumpity bump, he's the garbage man. Let's do that one more time. Isn't that a cool song or about a cool chant about a garbage man? Okay, get your muscles ready. You gotta have big muscles to be a garbage collector. Garbage man, garbage man, he picks up the garbage can, drops it in his garbage van, then he drives away, drives the trash to the dump, drops it out in a great big lump, drives away, bumpity bump, he's the garbage man. That's a pretty fun one, isn't it? We have a craft later on. Maybe you could even say that when you're doing your craft. Okay, so the next story we have is called Machines at Work. Garbage Trucks. This is by Carrie Meister. And it is not going to stay open. Okay. This is about garbage trucks at work. It's going to show a lot of pictures of different kinds of garbage trucks. This says garbage trucks at work. Screech! The garbage truck stops. It is trash day. A side loader loads from the side. A long arm comes out and it grabs the trash can, doesn't it? Here's that long arm and then it dumps it into the hopper. The driver uses a joystick. That's kind of what a joystick looks like. 
and it moves the arm to grab the can. Up, up, up goes the can, dumps it right in. One thing I wanted to show you is notice the garbage collector is wearing an orange vest so that cars can see him easily because a lot of times they're, they're in the road working and cars have to be really careful not to hit them. Also, he has very thick gloves, which you can't see because he took this one off, but they're really thick so that if he should maybe get a bag or a can that has glass or something broken in it, that it won't cut him. You have to be very careful when you're collecting garbage. Whoosh! The can tilts. Here's a big dumpster, big dumpster full of garbage that is falling into the trash truck. This morning, when I drove in to the uh, parking lot here at the library, our trash truck, our garbage truck was just leaving and he had emptied our dumpster with one of these big arms that pulls it up on the top. The driver pushes a button and swoosh, the crusher blade presses down the bags, squishing them up so that more and more garbage can fit in the truck. Watch out! Here comes a front loader. See the forks on the front loader that can pick up a big dumpster? They can pick up a really heavy dumpster. Beep, beep! Rear loaders collect garbage in the back. Workers put trash in the hopper. See how he's got a garbage can and he's dumping it in by hand? The trash truck is full. It needs to dump. So where does it go? It goes to a landfill or the garbage dump. And the truck dumps out all that load of garbage. Do you see all the birds? Those are seagulls that have actually come in. They're trying to get all the leftover food. That's, I guess, what they like to eat. Vroom, off it goes. Time to go get more trash. Look, it's empty in the back. He's ready to go get more garbage. So we learned some of the parts of the truck. We learned about a joystick here on the side, a crusher in the back that can make the garbage uh, smashed up so they can fit more in, and here's a hopper, the place where all the trash is collected in the back. That's pretty good. I'm so glad for our garbage collector. So we've been talking over the last couple of times about community helpers and we've talked about police officers and today we're talking about garbage collectors but you know we can all be helpers in our community because our community just means the place where we live and work and the businesses and things around us so you can be a helper right at home so we have a little finger play that's called I have ten fingers and do it with me, okay? Show me your hands. I have 10 fingers and they all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can close them up tight or I can open them wide. I can put them together or I can make them both hide. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. Or I can fold them up quietly and make them sit so. You like that one? Let's do that one more time, okay? I have 10 fingers and they all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can shut them up tight I can open them wide, I can put them together, I can make them all hide, I can make them jump high, I can make them jump low, or I can fold them up quietly and hold them just so. So you can use your hands and your fingers to be a community helper right at your own house today. Maybe you could ask the grown-up that's around, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, the, your babysitter, you could ask them, what can I do to help you? Maybe they'll say, could you please pick up your toys? And you say, 
I have 10 fingers, right? And you can show them the things that you can do as a community helper in your own home. So we have one more book today. And this one is called The Little Snowplow. Now you might say to yourself, look outside, it's springtime. Well, March is a funny month. That's the month we're in. And sometimes it'll feel like spring and then we'll have to call out the snow plows again. But I chose this book because there's a garbage truck in it. And the garbage truck, he's big and he thinks he's important. And he doesn't think the little snow plow can do much. This book was written by Laura Kohler and the pictures are by Jake Parker. The Little Snow Plow. All right, on the mighty mountain road crew, the trucks came in one size, big. That is, until a new snow plow joined the crew. You're such a little snow plow, the big truck said. Leave the heavy lifting to us. And off they roared. Do you see the garbage truck? Big green one. So all spring, the little snow plow cleared streams while the big trucks bulldozed mudslides. In the summer, he cleaned up after parades while the big trucks built roads. And in the fall, he pushed leaves into piles while the big trucks mounded mountains of salt and sand. As fall turned into winter, the little snowplow began training. He made the light on top go around and around, and he blew his horn, beep, beep. He drove forward and back, and then he raised and lowered his plow 10 times, fast. Everything was in working order. He could hardly wait for snow. Ha, said the dump truck. You've never even seen snow. The little snow plow ignored him. He knew what snow was. Why, I remember snow up to the eaves, said a cement mixer. Yeah, we had a big strong snow plow then, the garbage truck said. I hope it doesn't snow like that this winter, the dump truck said. It might be too much for a little snow plow. We probably have to help. The little snow plow turned his bumper on the trucks. Look at his mad face. Those words were hurting him. But that night, he raised and lowered his snowplow 10 extra times. And the next day, he added even more exercises. He pushed loads of gravel. He pulled blocks of concrete, just in case. One morning, Will, the crew foreman, burst in before dawn. It's a real blizzard out there. The dump truck snorted. Looks like there's already more than a little snow plow can handle. Beep, beep, vroom. The drifts looked soft and fun to the little snow plow. Let's go, Will said, and they drove out into the storm. The little snow plow cleared the streets of Mighty Mountain, but it kept snowing. So the little snow plow cleared the streets of Mighty Mountain again. It snowed harder and the wind began to howl. Once more, the little snow plow started to clear the streets. Deep drifts swirled around his treads. Icy gusts blew against his windshield. Snow piled up higher than he could raise his plow. He wondered if he should have done more plow lifts. This one's too big for anyone to handle on their own, Will, Will said, and he called for backup. I knew that plow would need help, the dump truck grumbled as he drove out. The little snow plow wiped his windshield and kept plowing. Silver Fork, Stampede Avenue, Main Street, that's when he heard a rumbling and he saw the dump truck drive by. Then the little snow plow heard a thundering and he turned the corner of Main and Ridge. <gasps> Just 
as an avalanche swept down the mountain. Beep, 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 the little snowplow cried. Do you know what an avalanche is? That's when there's so much heavy snow that it slides right off. And look, it's covering the dump truck. It's going to fall right on it. But there's the little, the little snowplow back there. He's safe. He's buried, Will yelled. No time to lose. But it will take hours for the big trucks to move that boulder. The little snowplow drove forward. He backed up. He repositioned, he edged forward and squeezed past the boulder. Way to go, half pint, Will said. The big trucks couldn't have gotten through. See, because there's big rocks called boulders. Only a little tiny snowplow could get through. The little snowplow plunged his plow into the avalanche debris. He dug and dug and dug. His engine shuddered, his exhaust sputtered. The needle on his gas gauge dropped. Will pointed, there he is. The little snowplow dug faster. Creak, crack, more snow crashed behind him. Hurry, Will said. Shovels of snow flew in all directions. Will raced to attach a cable between the trucks. The little snowplow drove forward, tugging. The dump truck revved his engine. His wheels spun. The little snowplow braced himself and pulled, just as he had practiced. The dump truck's wheels gained traction. The little snowplow gave a mighty tug and pulled the dump truck free. Yay! Woohoo! Will cheered. The dump truck shook snow from his truck bed. I didn't know a snowplow so little could be so strong, he said. Beep, beep, the little snowplow blew his horn. And together, the two trucks worked to clear the boulder. When they finally got back to the garage, all the other trucks honked and beeped and blinked. Great job, they shouted. They think about the little snowplow differently now, don't they? The little snowplow's headlights sagged, his plow dragged, his gas tank was nearly empty. But before turning in for the night, he made the light on top go around and he blew his horn. Beep, beep. He drove forward and back, then he raised and lowered his plow ten times. Slow. Everything was in working order. He could hardly wait for sleep. Look how tired his eyes look. <clears throat> and there he is sleeping. I like that story because it shows that just because you're small doesn't mean you can't be a helper. And he was a really good helper. He tried really hard, didn't he? So let's see how you can be a helper this week. All right, in your kit, you have a craft. <clears throat> and then you have a background paper, and then you have some shapes. And those shapes are all in your little wax packet here. And when you put them all together, according to the directions, you end up in a garbage truck. Garbage man, garbage man, right? There he is. So I put pretty garbage in mine. I made it so that we have pretty garbage and it's not stinky because who would want to hang stinky garbage on their garbage truck? But there he is, he's going to the dump. So you can do whatever you'd like to with your picture. Maybe you would like to make some more people back here waving at the, at the garbage man or maybe you would like to put some garbage cans over here or maybe a couple of rats like in Trashy Town. You could take your sunshine and make some rays. You might put some birds in the sky. You can just do whatever you'd like to with your picture. Maybe you need to put your family's name or your name on the side of the truck because most trucks have a company's name on it. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with your picture. Well, I'm super glad that you came and were a part of our story time today. So we'll be studying about another community helper next week, but until then, I'm glad you came today. Let's sing it together. I'm glad you came today. 
I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. I'll see you next week.